Yo, it's Brad, social media aficionado, manager extraordinaire, and founder of Ricoco Coconut Oil. <laughs> it's not really coconut at all, but it's more like a brand. Anyways, what I wanted to talk about is, uh, I, I actually just wanted to drop some knowledge, and this should be a pretty quick video, but what I wanted to talk about was the Anchor application uh, that you can get for iPhone or Android or whatever. Uh, just search Anchor, you'll find it in the App Store. What it is, is I describe it as, uh, a, it's a cross between Twitter and Snapchat, but for audio. So, when Anchor started, you could record two minute audio clips, just hold your phone up to your mouth, record it, post it, and it would compile as a story, but that story refreshes every 24 hours like a Snapchat or an Instagram story. But, the intent, but then you could respond to other waves, as they're called, audio files on Anchor. You could respond to different waves with up to a minute of your own. So kind of like a retweet or a quoted retweet, something like that. Um, and you have what's called a station. Your, your feed is known as a station. It's not a story. Um, so it's kind of being positioned as if it's like, uh, like radio, so to speak. Um, but what I just recently discovered, which is really fucking cool about Anchor, is you can publish a real podcast from Anchor. I'm not talking about a, ha a podcast that's like hosted on YouTube or like hosted on Anchor. You can publish audio files to Anchor and it will post them to the iTunes podcast channel, like iTunes, like iTunes podcast, like straight up. You can search mine on there. Uh, it's called the Tosa B Show, a little plug there. Um, it'll post it to Stitcher, Google Play, and I think also SoundCloud. I'll have to check on SoundCloud. Don't quote me on that. But what's super cool about that is if any of you have ever messed around with podcasts, it can be super difficult to get them to, to plug to the uh, <clears throat> to the uh, to iTunes or to Stitcher because you have to have an RSS feed set up and that typically has to be embedded in code in a website. Not everybody's necessarily comfortable doing that, but this kind of changes the game. Now podcasting is cracked open to everyone, but nobody's talking about it, which I don't understand. So I'm gonna talk about it. So, podcasting, why, like why? why? Why should someone have a podcast? Honestly, I think that every single person on the face of the earth should have a podcast, especially if you have any interest in influencing how people think. Like, essentially starting a podcast now is like being a blogger just when blogging was picking up steam. So you're still getting in way early. I mean, yes, there are ten, literally probably tens or hundreds of thousands of podcasts already, but that's nothing. That's nothing compared to what it's gonna be. Everybody's gonna have a fucking podcast. Like, you're gonna like, ugh. And, and the, I, I don't wanna like make predictions specifically, but I wouldn't be surprised if people leave funny voice messages to their friends who know that they're subscribed to their podcast as a podcast and they hear it and it's like, haha, funny, I left, left in this public voice message. I think stuff like that will happen as podcasting gains traction and stuff and Anchor's a great, great wave, uh, it's a great vehicle to accelerate that. So, um, the reason podcasting is going to be huge is it saves you time and I'm so pissed, I'm so pissed that I didn't record this video two years ago because I knew this, I, I knew it. Um, I, I knew intuitively that, okay, so the, the reason I knew this is because I would listen to two things uh, as as uh, kind of like my content sources. Two years ago, I was super into investing and macroeconomics, still am. Um, it's still a passion of mine. I still work with macro voices, love it. Like, wouldn't wouldn't give it up for the world. Um, but I was really into it back then. So I would wa I would listen to macro voices and I would watch slash, slash listen to, uh, I can't talk, Real Vision Television, which is super high quality financial TV. Um, it's like $500 for a subscription. It's it's so worth it though, so worth it. Like the greatest, literally the greatest minds in finance. You should definitely subscribe. They're not paying me, but Raul, if you want to pay me, I'm down. Uh, but what I would do is I would put on Real Vision. It's full, like full color, high, high depth videos or whatever. I didn't care. All I cared about was the audio. So I would, I would watch it passively. I would turn it on, I'd flip the screen away from my hip 
so I could put it in my pocket and I would listen to it as I was doing stuff in my room, walking around, but I didn't care about the video. I cared about the audio because I could do other things. I, I don't know why, I, like I'm so pissed at myself that I wasn't talking about this because now it just sounds like I'm just me doing with Gary Vee. I'm totally not, I literally genuinely like, and everybody does this, like you'll put on a YouTube video that you want to hear the audio for because it's informative and, and this is a utility. Realize that if you're watching, um, what's her name, if you're a big Jenna Marbles fan, you're not going to watch Jenna Marbles passively because that's entertainment and that's escapism. So you are going to want to be actively engaged in that, right? But if it's something that you're consuming as a utility, such as news, such as information, such as training on success in finance or whatever, you want you you want to get that passively because you you need it and it doesn't need to and if it doesn't have to take away from other shit that you're doing, if you can do the dishes and gain knowledge. <laughs> I don't know why I just said that. That's hilarious. And you can gain knowledge by listening while you're doing that other stuff. That's fucking money. Like, if and if if you don't like, I'll. I mean, I guess I can try to communicate another way, but I, I don't really know how else to communicate. If that doesn't make sense to you, then you're probably just not in the mindset of um, like uh, optimizing your time, I guess. But my, my mind is so there lately as in trying to just squeeze every drop of value I can uh, out of out of the day and out of life. Um, here's here's a good here's a good uh, more supporting evidence for the point I'm trying to make, which is that audio and podcasts are gonna be huge, huge in in like five to ten years, it's gonna look nothing like what it looks like today. It's gonna be crazy. Um, the evidence in support of that is the growth of uh, audiobooks in in uh, comparison to uh, you know like ebooks or uh, just regular books like I literally I, like I'm not exaggerating and this is not just hyperbole I don't read like not only do I do I not read I I, <laughs> I actively refuse to read like it's not just I happen to not read anything anymore I refuse to read it I, I just don't want to read anything like my my reading ability has just gone like like super downhill. I have to concentrate really hard to read. It's super weird because I'm I've listened to so many audiobooks and what I've noticed is with audiobooks, one I actually retain the information, which is super interesting. Like that's kind of a, a cool hack for myself that I've gotten. I can get a lot more out of an audiobook than I can in a regular book, to be honest. Um, and I think it's because the time investment is so much lower and I can put that shit on two times speed and it's money. It's money. I love it. Um, and the other funny thing is I will listen to an audiobook two, three, four, five. I'm th this one book. I've probably listened to it 10 times in total because it's just like one of those books that I just want to be constantly reminded to be practicing the principles of. Um, it's called The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. Love it. I literally fall asleep to it every night. Um, yeah, I, I just never, I could never get myself to the place where I wanted to reread a book because the time investment was so massive. Um, and, and potty, I just said potty, oh, that's hilarious. And podcasting and emerging audio just takes away um, the trade-off that you have to make if you're going to read something versus, you know, have your eyes actively engaged in something else. So, so that's huge. I wanted to kind of spit that rant and get that out of me because um, it's been brewing up in here. So, to make my actions follow up my words here, um, what I'm probably going to be doing is taking all of my YouTube videos ripping the audio, actually I'm 100% going to do this, I don't know why I haven't done this already, I'm going to rip the audio off of them, um, and I'm going to post them uh, to my my podcast now, I guess I can say through Anchor, oh god, bougie, uh, so yeah, so that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull all the video off my, or excuse me, all the audio off of my YouTube and Facebook videos, um, and post it to Anchor and my podcast, so... 
Uh, I think you can find me. I'll give more clarification on this in the next video that I post, but I think you can find my podcast as, um, <laughs> this is super funny. If you search Brad's basement, I think, <laughs> which is super funny, in uh, iTunes, like Apple Podcasts, you should be able to find it. It's just a picture of me looking like a, a turd with these uh, Snapchat spectacles on. It's it's kind of it's kind of unique. I think like makes it easy to recognize that it's me. It's like oh hey, there's that douchebag with his fucking stupid ass glasses on. You know, good good way to identify myself. Um, so yeah, if uh, if you want to hear what I'm saying, one I really appreciate that genuinely. Like I'll I'll look right in the camera. Like seriously, if you're listening to this and you really want to hear what I'm saying, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, your time is super valuable and I appreciate that you're letting me have, have your ear. Um, if you want to hear what I'm thinking in a, uh, in a maybe easier format for you to consume, I plan on putting out a lot of audio content because I'm always talking anyways and I love talking to myself and I'm kind of developing a love affair with this camera and I'm about to get a Joby gorilla pod that stretchy pod like that's gonna be a game changer um yeah just look at the podcast if jesus if you want to subscribe to it like that would be fucking sick like i feels weird asking people to subscribe to my podcast but fuck it do it um that'd be dope like i'll actually yeah i'll do that i'll say this if uh if you subscribe to my podcast send me uh like dm me on instagram or leave a comment on youtube or comment on facebook um, and I'll send you some free coconut oil. Like I own a coconut oil company, so I'll send you some for free. You can give it to your girlfriend if you're a dude. If you're a girl, you'll love it for your hair and skin. Blah blah blah. Um, yeah, like I'll, I'll I'll make that trade if you want to subscribe. If you're if you want to subscribe and listen to my shit, I'll 100% show you my gratitude by sending you some of my product for free. Like no issue. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I had to say. Thank you for giving me your attention. Um, I would love if, if, uh, if this is like actually impacting you and, um, what I'm saying is, is really, you know, if it's encouraging you to do something or if you're just like getting a little bit of knowledge out of it and you feel like you want to, you know, like just let, honestly, I'd just love to know, like if it's not, that's okay. Like I, I'm kind of putting this out here for my own, honestly, for my own selfish wants. I want this to look back at. Um, but if along the way, like I'm bringing value to people, I, like really, I would really love if you would let me know. Um, and it doesn't have to be public. You can just text me if you have my number or, you know, DM me on Instagram or Facebook, you know, whatever. Like, please, please do let me know. If you're watching this and it added value, please let me know. So that's all I got. Thanks.